hey everyone creative Venus here and today we have designed a mobile version which is a portrait version of a powerpoint i hope you will really like it this is completely dynamic and interactive so let's begin with the tutorial now so first of all we need to design the bottom navigation which is very easy it depends upon the number of slides if you have more number of slides then you have to adjust the design but here what I have done is I have inserted a rounded rectangle and let's fill the image so I have used the stock image and then duplicate the button so basically these are the buttons and whenever you will click on these buttons you will land on the respective slide so here you can adjust the buttons and, and after that go to format options and then change the images for all these buttons so for now this template is created considering four slides but if you have to add more slides then you have to create more buttons and you have to be uh, very creative in terms of fitting all the buttons on the slide or you have to think uh, differently or you know uh, create a different design in order to in order to fit the navigation so here i'm just you know changing the images now let's insert the title and the subheadings and the branding and the dummy text uh, which of course you can easily change by downloading this template from the g drive link in the video description and of course follow a color scheme and a font style and it depends upon the brand template you are following uh, for now I am using the Poppins font and it is a Google font and I always stress upon this thing that you can always reuse the components instead of uh, you know inserting it again and again just duplicate the text boxes reuse them and focus on the text styling which is very important like how you want to place the components and of course this is a mobile kind of style so it is inspired from a mobile app design so now this is going to be the first slide and here i have inserted this rounded rectangle and i'm going to use the same image which is present on the button so what will happen is when we will navigate through the slides whenever we click on any button then we will land on to that respective slide now let's insert uh, one more text box and then add the dummy text and of course this text is replaceable and you can add the text here and let's first add an overlay so that the text can be visible easy to read so in this overlay which is a rounded rectangle use a gradient linear gradient from top to bottom and use white colors on both the gradient stops and on the bottom gradient stop just increase the opacity to 100% not the opacity but the transparency and then you can see the text is much more readable and bring the text to front and of course then you can adjust the text styles and font style so this is how the slide will look very neat and clean design and I have tried to keep the text on the left side because this is how the human eye reads the text from left to right and then I've inserted this line just for you know to beautify the you know style of the layout and now let's insert two buttons here because this is going to be a PowerPoint template where you can add something here depending upon the requirements of the slide so here I'm going to add a contact us button which you, which of course you can link to your email ID or, or some link on a website or you can also showcase some call to action here totally depends upon the topic and the requirement so I have made this completely rounded so here I've added this button and changed the color of the text
and this is the home button i thought let's keep an home button because the four slides that we have designed are clickable from the navigation at the bottom but if you want to come to the home slide the cover slide you can always click on home and of course we will design a cover slide as well but let's first finish these four slides so i've increased the line size and this is how you can duplicate the slides and create these four different slides so this is very easy so now let's create a cover slide so duplicate one of the slides and then remove all these items and let's create this big colorful gradient looking rounded rectangle and here you can add the title of the slide like let's begin or you can add the main like the scope or something which is the title of your presentation and slightly move these upwards because what we will do is we will apply the morph animation so whenever you will you know navigate through the slides everything will move depending upon their position on the previous slide so this is how the morph works so this morph transition will make it look very beautiful and the transitions will be more magical and similarly you can create the last slide which is a thank you slide so here i'm writing subscribe so you can write your own message or, or in fact you can also add an image you want and then hyperlink the home button to the cover slide and just copy this button and paste it on all the slides remove the button existing button and just paste the button that we have created which is linked to the cover slide otherwise you have to hyperlink the button on every slide so always reuse the objects and same goes with the bottom navigation first hyperlink the bottom navigation on the cover slide and then just copy and paste it on all the slides so here the steps are the same for all the buttons just right click go to link and you know link it within this presentation place in the document and click on the slide you want to link this button with and just copy and paste it on all the slides and once everything is done just apply the morph animation and then we will do uh, I mean we will adjust the placement of the items now let's create this bar as well and this bar will move as the slides according to the slides so this bar is small on the second slide then extend it on the third slide and similarly until the fourth slide the bar will have its full length and on the last slide just make it a small dot and what will happen is during the morph transition it will move with the slides and now what you have to do is just copy the stuff from the current slide and paste it on the previous slide but outside of the slide area and just transform them when i say transform you can rotate them you can reflect them and what will happen is uh, whenever you will apply the morph transition and the slideshow mode uh, it will start animating from the from its position in the previous slide to the current slide so this is how you can do it and similarly you can paste it on the next slide as well and if you don't know how the morph transition works 
just try it yourself or you can watch our other videos just search for morph transitions by creative venus and you will learn it's very simple very simple so this is the slight design that we have created and just you know apply these morph transition and move the objects outside of the slide area in the previous and the next slides on for all the slides and this is the final output and look at this this looks amazing and this will not only work on your click but also when you will click on these uh, images in the bottom navigation so this is the video for today i hope you really like it so please subscribe download and share this video with your friends and colleagues and we will see you guys in our next video with something more beautiful and creative till then subscribe and enjoy